mentioning the side effects. Please do not be harsh when reading this. I love my husband and we have been together since we were 17. We've been married for four years now. We've had our ups and downs like any couple but I've never stopped loving him. A couple years ago he had an emotional affair with some woman he worked with. I was a good wife and I took him back but I don't think I ever forgave him. We haven't been super happy for the last two years or so. My husband has been sort of detached and become so work-focused. I've been lonely and I made a couple mistakes. Last December we decided to try to have a baby and I went off the pill. We've been trying to conceive without much luck. In March I went to see meet up with some old friends for a weekend. I made a terrible mistake and I had a few too many drinks and I ended up in bed with one of my friends. We slept together six times that weekend. I came home and I realized how big of a mistake I made and I'm trying to make amends. Two weeks ago, I found out that I was pregnant. I'm six weeks right now which is right around the time I cheated. I'm so scared. I'm pretty sure it's not my hubbies. We tried for months without any luck and sure enough the one time I stray I end up pregnant. I don't know what to do. There is a chance it could be my husband's. I slept with him right after I got back from the trip. We really want the baby and he wouldn't understand me getting an ex I don't want to confess and I don't want to ex my baby. We just bought a house and we both so badly want a child. I don't want my mistake to ruin our lives. I just need some advice and guidance on what to do. He won't stay if it's not his. I feel so guilty but I think telling him would break his heart and cause him more pain. My friend looks quite a bit like my husband. I don't think he would know. I just feel horrible about this. It's my luck that the one time I make a mistake this would happen. I have been a perfect wife aside from this. I forgave him for his affair. I know he won't forgive me for mine. My friend is married also and he has two kids. I don't think he would want to know. I know my husband and he wouldn't stay if he knew it wasn't his. I don't want to lose him. I would spend the rest of my life making it up to him. I don't think he necessarily has to know. My husband trusts me and he wouldn't have any doubts. I messed up but I don't want to ruin my baby's life over this. He or she deserves to have a dad who loves them. My husband would. If he knew it wasn't his it wouldn't be the same. There is also a small chance it is my husband's. I couldn't tell my husband. I just couldn't. He would never forgive me. I think it might be best for everyone for me to have an ex I just need to build up the courage to do it. I'm a good person who made one mistake. Try to be understanding. I'm going to talk to my friend and see what his opinion is of this first and if he doesn't want the baby I'll get an ex I'm pretty sure he doesn't want any part of the baby so. Anyways thanks for pushing me to get the ex I think it is the only choice really. My comment, good luck with whatever you decide to do. It will be very difficult to hide an ex from your husband. No bonding for about four weeks, among other things. Your friend may tell your husband. You will have to deal with trying to keep this a secret for the rest of your life, and the odds are not in your favor. If you need to find the courage to have an ex, you may not be able to go through with it. It's sometimes not what we do in life, but how we handle the aftermath. Whether or not we own our actions, everyone makes mistakes. Whether or not it was a mistake is open to opinion. What really matters is how you deal with it. I'm not really keen on looking at life as correcting past mistakes, as much as there is opportunity to take it as a twist in the road and find a way to make it work. Nobody gets a do-over in life. Just a chance to learn from the past and apply it to the future. Take care of yourself. This situation is actually not all that uncommon, unfortunately. She needs to be honest but making her feel like her situation is hopeless no matter what is not going to convince her to do the right thing. She needs to know that she can tell the truth, keep the baby, and everything can and will be okay eventually. As long as she doesn't repeat her behavior. Story 2. Not getting over it. Divorced for a few years and now in a relationship for the past two years. I'm from the New England area. I've been dating my GF for almost two years now. She is awesome and absolutely the most beautiful woman I've ever dated. The bonding is amazing. Our connection is amazing. We have the best time together. We live together. She's super intelligent. Tons of fun, spontaneous, passionate, successful. But, her past makes me absolutely crazy. She was physically active at a very young age, 11 years old. She slept with about 40 guys which wrecks me. I knew about this when we first started dating but I often think about it. The worst of all was she had a sugar daddy for a prox. A month and a half. They had slept together twice, according to her but she's very honest about it and I do believe her. And it drives me insane whenever I think about an older guy paying her basically for bonding. She did it when she was in grad school to help pay her bills. She says it was the worst decision she's ever made in her life. She said it was after a long-term relationship and she was just in a bad headspace and thought it wouldn't impact her the way it did. She got the idea from a college friend who was doing it to not have student loans. Anyways, I don't often think about it but whenever I do I have a hole in my heart and it makes my stomach feel sick. She the most caring woman I've ever known and our relationship is great but I can't stop thinking about these things and it somewhat makes me think differently of her. Should I try to keep getting over it or how should I deal with it? We've talked about it obviously but I never bring it up because I really don't want any details about it nor do I want her to think I'm second guessing our relationship. Obviously, she wasn't my first partner. I've been with about 10 women in my life. I also obviously come with a past. 
My previous relationship was 16 years long and I was married for 13 of those. She has a hard time dealing with that as she was never married before nor ever in a serious relationship like I was. I'm fine with her sleeping with other people before we met as everyone has but the number of guys bothers me greatly, and that she was essentially paid to sleep with someone pains me. I don't want to throw our relationship away over something she did years ago as I do love her. I just wonder if I will ever get to the point where it doesn't bother me. The sugar daddy part is my biggest issue. The other guys sometimes bother me but I can get over that. Honestly, it's so weird because we have the craziest physical life ever. People wouldn't believe me if I told them. We also have a ton of passion and we spend a ton of time together and go on vacations etc. We can have crazy bonding like in videos but then just lay cuddling for hours touching each other in a loving way. It truly is the best of both worlds. I've talked to her about it and she just cries. She said after she did it, she couldn't look at herself in the mirror and it took her years to be able to get over her bad decision. She brings up my ex-wife often as that is a pain point for her and we talk about it and I'm 100% honest with her with whatever she wants to know. The crazy part is that when I got divorced, she is the only woman I dated afterwards. I met her and I couldn't get enough. We connected immediately and have been together since. I thought I would be a wuss after getting divorced but the exact opposite happened. She also didn't want a boyfriend or any serious relationship. When we first met, she was very clear about that and said she hasn't been in a relationship for a few years because it wasn't what she wanted. We met and all of that changed and we both felt that way at first. We went out a few times and ended all ties with anyone else we were talking to. Everything just fell into place and worked out. I guess I need to just figure out how to let it go and focus on us. Also, in all reality if someone wanted to pay me 15 o for a good time, I would do it without hesitation if I was single and amassing a ton of debt for school. She does not seek attention from guys at all. She doesn't flirt with any guys or anything at all. She is absolutely beautiful so guys on Facebook etc. message her fairly often and she just blocks that. When we go out her focus is always 100% on me. Occasionally we have gone places and shall point out other women which we are both fine with. In all honesty she is completely faithful and truly only wants attention from me. She said she was mostly defiant to her mom and didn't know what was really happening. She was 11, and the loser was 16. She said it was awful. Some are attacking me saying I make her feel like crap etc. That is not the case at all. This is something I deal with on my own when I'm not with her. It comes up time to time and it makes me sad. I don't often think about it but when I do it seems to bother me for a few days. I think that is pretty normal. I don't make her cry nor do I make her feel dirty or anything like that. I love her for who she is now I just struggle with some of the things she did when she was younger. Unfortunately, everybody comes with baggage myself included. She has dealt with her past with a professional. She has a behavioral analyst so she understands her actions better than most. As others have said here, she says the same that you can't change her past but it has molded her into the caring woman that she is today. Every four to six weeks or so I start dwelling on it for whatever reason and it makes me upset. Then, I stop thinking about it and for whatever reason something gets me thinking about it again and it makes me sad. I've had several serious relationships but none like this one. She is always excited to see me and goes out of her way to make time for me. We plan things together and we get along great. We almost never argue and when we do, we clear things up quickly. We both want to get married and build a family together. We even planned another cruise for next August which we just booked touring Europe so we are super excited about that. We just got back from a cruise two weeks ago and already booked our next adventure. We obviously believe we have a future together or we wouldn't have booked a vacation for a year and a half way. She will answer any question openly and honestly whenever I ask no matter how hard it may be to hear. However, I choose not to know too many details as I want to focus on what we have now. She is a very special person with a heart of gold. She works with children with severe autism that are barely functioning human beings. She has a love for these kids that even their parents lack. She is very trustworthy and has never cheated on a previous partner whenever in a committed relationship. She's also not the same person she was when she's younger. The number of partners bothers me for sure but I can cope with it mostly. The sugar daddy thing is certainly an area I often struggle with. When I'm with her none of that matters but when I'm alone it sometimes comes into my mind. She has issues with my previous relationship because she feels she can't compete with the life I created with my ex. She is afraid that she will never be my first for anything significant. I can respect that and I'm very sensitive about it. I have a son from a previous relationship and she's afraid when we have kids our kids won't mean as much. Clearly, that's not true but I can see her concern. I know who they are. One contacted her a few months ago when a mutual friend passed. She screenshot the message and sent it to me immediately along with any and all corresponding messages. I'm honestly not at all worried even 1% about this and I'm confident she wouldn't cheat. Someone said early about our gut feeling and this is something I don't get that gut feeling in a negative way. I totally trust her. Some have said here to either deal with it and get over it or let her go. I don't want to let her go at all. I do love her and she makes me happier than I've ever been. We've built an amazing foundation while a lot was stacked against us. 
We are trying to build a future together and even booked a vacation for a year and a half away. We love cruises and found one touring Europe on a brand new ship launching next year. Some have asked why I posted this and honestly, I guess I want to be able to just get over it and not think about it anymore. Maybe it's my defense mechanism trying to keep me from getting too attached. Who knows, my friends have said I was stupid for not dating any other women when I left my ex-wife. My intention was to just date and have fun but when I met her, we connected so quickly I didn't want anyone else. Leaving a 16-year relationship was very difficult and I don't want to get hurt. I don't compare myself to her past partners at all. I know things with us are way better as the connection we have is truly amazing. We know each other's bodies so well that everything always falls perfectly into place. We do not fight about it. I cannot change it. When I first found out about the sugar daddy thing, we got into a blowout fight. I knew she had gone on dates with a few guys for money but there was no bonding. However, when I found out about the guy she did sleep with I was really really upset and we almost broke up over it. However, I was already in love with her and wanted to at least try to make it work. I was able to bury it for 6 months or so but every 4 to 6 weeks it comes back to light for whatever reason and I makes me upset. I do not ever make her feel bad about it and I don't bring it up to her at all. I know she is ashamed she did it and struggles with it. Why would I just make her feel worse about it? We both want to be happy and we both want to be together. We both struggle with each other's past unfortunately. She has never had a relationship that was serious like my previous marriage. She really compares herself to my ex. The two of them could not be more opposite in nearly every way. She feels that our relationship and our kids will always be second to my first marriage and that it will not mean as much. I am sensitive to this and never make her feel bad about thinking this way. She is afraid that because getting married to her will not be my first and having kids with her won't be my first it won't be as exciting to me. I explained to her that our relationship is completely different and my previous marriage lacked passion. It was safe and easy but mostly just comfortable but also boring at the same time. I can see it from her point that she has never had a relationship that was serious like my marriage and I think she thinks I compare her to my ex. Our relationship is solid and I have never been so happy in all my life as I am with her. She really completes me and compliments me in ways I never thought I would experience. She makes me feel true love and makes me feel wanted and desired and not just physically. We literally lie in bed with our faces touching and just holding each other nearly every single day and most mornings. I have never done that with previous partners. I used to detest cuddling and now I absolutely love it. Maybe I am just so afraid I will lose this amazing feeling that I'm almost looking to find reasons it's not really happening. If anyone were friends with me on Facebook that would prob be sick. Aha I post pics of us very often and post about how happy she makes me feel and how much I love her. I do this because I truly am in love with her and truly think she is the most beautiful woman I have ever met. I am proud to be with her even though I don't approve of some of her previous choices. It is sad. I know she compares herself to my ex. They are completely different in every possible way. My ex was miserable and did not want to do anything. My current GF is full of life and wants to experience new things. My ex would not go on vacation. In 16 years, we went on four vacations together. In the past two years we have gone on two cruises, booked a third, four other vacations away, and countless weekend and nights away. We want to explore the world together and not get stuck in a rut. My ex and I went nearly four years without going out on a date because she did not want to leave the house. My ex and I would have plain vanilla bonding three to four times per month. My current GF and I have slept together every single day and we have done some crazy things together. My current GF is much younger than my ex as well and much more attractive. I can understand why she compares herself to my ex simply for the length of time I was with her and the fact that we have a child together. My GF is awesome with my son and he adores her. I am not afraid she would ever do any of that honestly. I just have issues that she was able to make such a poor decision. I know the sugar daddy thing started out as just going on dates with guys with no kissing or anything. Just mostly going to work functions and bars and listening to guys talk about how their lives sucked. She said she went on four of those dates and then two with this other guy. She makes 90 an hour now so clearly she wouldn't go back to that. She is super intelligent and driven just had a crappy childhood that allowed her to make poor decisions early on. I have baggage because I am divorced and I have a child but my life path was pretty normal. Had my ex-wife put in the effort to try to fix our relationship I may or may not still be married to her but I could not wait any longer to find out. Update. I am honestly convinced she is 1000% into our relationship and ours only. Guys message her frequently and she shows me and then just blocks them. She is always wanting to spend time with me. She does not like being away from me. Last year I went on a week-long business trip and she was bawling her eyes out when I left and we chatted via messenger the entire time I was gone. This would have been her opportunity to cheat if the desire was there and clearly, she didn't. Am I jealous of her past? I honestly do not think it is that at all. Knowing who she is now if I did not know that about her past I would never in a million years think it was what it was. The bonding, yes, it is amazing. Nearly every single day and it is passionate, hot, romantic, insane. 
However, I she is the first woman I have ever been with where we literally cuddle every single day, face to face cuddling and just touching each other. Not a day goes by where we don't have this close knit intimacy, and for the first time in my life, I love it. Can she get any guys she wants? Honestly, I cannot see anyone rejecting her based on her looks. I know we can't post pictures here but if I did, I would prove my case. The past few days I have done some soul searching. What I have come up with is that I'm absolutely in love with this woman and she makes me happier than I've ever been. She supports me 1000%, has been completely faithful, wants to marry me, give me the attention I desire, is super intelligent, and honestly is the woman of my dreams. I think of all the amazing times we have shared together and how we both see eye to eye on our future so why let something that happened years and years ago jade our future together? Is there a risk she could cheat or do something? Of course, there is. No matter the history there is always a risk someone will cheat in a relationship. I would be more likely to think a girl that was only with her husband her entire life would be more likely to cheat because of simple curiosity. Every relationship has risks and rewards we just need to decide if they are worth taking. She not a cheater at all. No idea why everyone keeps bringing up cheating. I am not at all concerned about this even a little bit. Yes, there is a risk of her or me cheating as there is in 100% of every single relationship. Chris Rock said it best we are only as faithful as our options. Not that I truly agree with that it is a risk in any and every relationship no matter how perfect it may seem to be. My issue is some of her past decisions. That is really it. I am focused on living in the now as things are amazing. I love her like I have never loved anyone before in my life. I'm happy whenever she is around and still getting excited when she messages me or comes home. We have a ton of chemistry both emotionally and physically. We share common interests yet have our own things we do separately. I'm not thrilled about some of her past but I'm sure if she knew everything I've done she would prob feel the same way in some regard. Some people here are trying to say she is hiding things but she has absolutely no reason to. She has been open about everything and that's a good and bad thing. When we first met, she was upfront that she didn't want a boyfriend or any serious relationship. However, after just a few weeks of dating we had a strong bond and quickly realized we both wanted to be in a relationship with each other. I had just left a long-term marriage and did not want to settle down. We met and that quickly changed. Some people have said to me she was a rebound but it is nothing like that at all. I cannot describe it but I'm happy. We just got back from a cruise two weeks ago that was amazing. Tonight, we are going into a major city somewhat near us to a steakhouse. We went on vacation last summer and found a steakhouse that was amazing and then realized they have one near us so we are going back tonight. We are then going to a comedy show and to an expensive hotel. We get dressed up on these nights and put effort into what each other wants. I do not know many couples that do this on a somewhat regular basis. She did explain that she went out with a total of two guys from the Sugar Daddy website. The first guy she went out with she went out twice. She said it was super super easy and the guy was nice but awkward. They didn't kiss or sleep together or even discuss bonding. He just wanted someone attractive to go out with. She said the money for both those dates was really good. The other guy then messaged her and it was a lot more money. She said she didn't want to do it but figured it would be easy and quick. She didn't realize how damaging it would be on her mentally after doing it. She said she did it two times over a two month period and that was the last time she ever used that site again. I kind get it and if I was in a situation, I needed the money and an attractive woman wanted to pay me that much money to sleep with her I would undoubtedly do it. Wouldn't be proud of myself but I'm pretty confident I would have done it. For whatever reason when a woman does it is so much worse. My ex-wife had a very limited physical life before we met. She was also brought up very religious as my current GF was as well. So she had a ton of mental barriers when it came to bonding. She didn't want to experiment much at all and when I tried to get her to it was like pulling teeth. She was mostly very vanilla which caused a lot of arguments etc. My current GF is pretty much open to try anything with me. We have fun, we experiment, we've done some crazy things. She opens with what she likes and doesn't like but is willing to try anything once for the most part to see if she likes it or not. My ex-wife is being impossible and demanding I owe her money. We have an agreement in which I got pretty screwed but that's not what's important. She is dictating that I owe her X amount of money and I explain how I was going to pay it back and she is being less than cooperative. During the divorce she basically kept everything. The house, the cars, all of the furniture, her pensions, and retirement etc. However, in the divorce it was clearly stated that she needed to return my nearly brand new MacBook Pro. I fought forever to try getting it back and she just refused. Since then, the computer has been broken and no longer any good to which she bought a new computer for herself. Now that she is demanding all this stuff, I explained to her that my computer has value. I paid 19 dollars for it and it is worth at least 1000 as it was only 6 months old at the time I left. She is saying it's worth 80 and laughs about it. Obviously, she violated the agreement and is being impossible about this and I'm not okay with being screwed over by her again. I did an appraisal and the value where they would buy it back was 12 dollars Also searching on eBay and similar sites yielded a similar price tag for this computer. 
Should I take these values and bring them to the courthouse and demand this be taken off the amount that she is claiming I owe her for other things? I'm not okay with her getting everything, where she is the most impossible human being on the planet. Half a year later, last night my GF worked until 7.30 and then went out with her best friend for dinner and got home at 10.30. No big deal as she does this two to four times per month and it's never an issue. Last night she got home at 10.30 and then is glued to her phone messaging her other friend until 11.45 ignoring me. I ended up rolling over and going to sleep. She tried cuddling with me and I told her I was all set and that I was upset because she didn't even give me five minutes the entire day nor did she ever even ask how my day was. She blew up at me saying she won't ever go out with her friends again as it's always causing issues. It doesn't and has only one time because she was switching jobs last year and was gone for an entire week so I finally got pissed. She said I was being controlling and that she won't live under those conditions. I laughed and said it was always a double standard and went to sleep. This morning I left and didn't really say anything. She's messaged me and I've barely responded. Am I wrong for being upset and expecting that when she gets home late, she can put her phone away and spend some time with me before we go to bed? My comment, at this point, she could plausibly say she's confused. Were you mad because of the lack of attention? Her going out, her being on the phone, her keeping you up when you wanted to sleep. Be clear, because that last one is really the only reasonable one if it's a rare occurrence, as you say it is. Just learn, man. If you're feeling ignored, then say you're feeling ignored. If you're annoyed, she came home and kept you up, then say so. Don't act hurt that she blew up when you helped light her fuse. Honestly, I think the girlfriend is too attractive for OP, and he is just tolerating anything that she does. You agree? Sub and check out the other videos.